hi guys how are you all doing i hope you're doing great it's sunday 2nd of june 2024 and it's time for our wet for today and except from ucb ireland and how is your sunday going my darling i hope your sunday is going well and you know what i wish you all the best in this new week amen okay my darling our topic says when you go through difficulties part two okay we did part one yesterday so today is part two all right and our bible reading is taken from the book of psalms 56 verse 4 and i read from my bible psalm 56 verse 4 it says in god i will praise his word in god i have put my trust i will not fear what flesh can do unto me amen praise the lord this is actually a song for the distressed a hope for the distressed praise the lord so in god i have put my trust i will not be afraid say you will not fear okay you will not be afraid in jesus name amen okay let's continue here are two more things joseph understood that you need to understand as well one you can't afford to give in self-pity perhaps you are going through a trial right now and you are an innocent party the victim of a situation you didn't cause consider joseph's reaction when he was in a similar position the first thing he didn't do was succumb to self-pity why because it's a major contributor to depression i can actually relate to that god help us Often, when we experience a serious problem and our self-esteem is already at its lowest ebb, we start blaming ourselves and putting ourselves down. Joseph didn't do that. He understood that the crisis he was in wasn't of his own making and he tried to look at it realistically. When you are in a storm, and you allow your boat to turn sideways, the storm will capsize you. Similarly, when storm comes into your life, the best way to overcome them is to trust God and face them head on, like Joseph did. Two, never make a major decision when you are depressed. Many times we were discouraged. We were tempted to say, oh, I want to give up. I am going to give up or I am going to switch jobs or I am going to move away or I am going to file for a divorce. Please don't do that. When you are downcast and despondent, your feelings are unreliable. Your focus becomes blurred and you lose your perspective when it comes to exercising good judgment so what should i do or perhaps what should you do trust god to bring you through it say with the psalmist in god i have put my trust i will not fear what can flesh do to me praise the lord hallelujah wow wow when you go through difficulties part two what would you do put your hope and trust in God. It is not easy. I keep saying these things though. But you have no option, my darling. Because when you run to man, what will man do? They won't help you. They can only offer you assistance based on their own capacity. You understand what I mean? But when we put our hope and trust in God, that is when we are kind of challenging God. Oh yeah, come and do your work. <laughs> okay come and do all that you have promised us and definitely he's going to do that so when storms comes into your life trust god there's something i love here that was said to us it says self-pity is a major contributor to depression you understand what i mean by self-pity oh my goodness <laughs> you wouldn't want that to happen to you because it is really worse it is really worse. It doesn't contribute anything good. Rather, it takes the person through depression. And we don't wonder because Joseph didn't do that. Despite everything Joseph went through his brothers, and even when he was in Egypt through Potiphar's wife, 
You understand what he went through, but he didn't give in to any of these advances. So don't make major decisions when you are depressed. I take myself as an example. Like I said before, I went through this depression like one month ago. And there are so many thoughts that are coming to me. The worst is that the kind of thought that comes to your head when you're going through that depression is not a good thought. It's just kind of a thought of harm, thought of failure, thought of back, you know, things that you have left before. Oh, I should have done this this way. Why did I allow this to happen to me? As if you had the opportunity or maybe you had the solution to do it then and you didn't do it. But the, the solution didn't come. And you're allowing yourself, you're allowing that depression to keep, you know, creeping in and eating you up. We don't want that. And I told myself, you know what? All these things are gone. I've, I should even thank God for my life today. I should look back and thank God. Look at my children. Look at my life. Look at, I may not be where I want to be today. I might not get what I want to get, but I'm alive. Some of my mates that we started this journey together, some of them are gone. They're not even here to even witness the depression. So why should I even give in? To, why should I even give in to all this? So, my dear, we also have to be, yeah, we have to be very careful when we are making a major decision, especially when we are in our downcast, in our down moment. It will yield any good result. And when you make that head decision because you're already hot, because you're already down, that decision might not come out well and it might not favor you it might even cause more problem to you and we don't want that god save us in the name of jesus so don't let fear and depression creep in or take over your life remember that you're special to god no matter what you're going through in this life please don't give up don't even try to end your life because like i, I keep saying it when life when 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 the life is cut short life still goes on in a second life goes on people will just tend to forget you they don't forget you because they just want to forget you some of them they forget you because they have something life you know busy ahead of them they have they have other things to do some even want you to not to be there again you know not to be there again and they move on with their lives but that is not what god wants for you god wants you to live a long life in good health he knows that all these temptations are going to come remember he was tempted Jesus was tempted by Satan, knowing fully well who Jesus was. He still came to tempt him. So who are we? Who are we for, for devil not to come to tempt us? Well, we have to emulate and go through God's way. You know, the way Jesus. Let's just emulate that because I know that we are going to come out victorious. Amen. So remember, don't make major decisions when you're depressed, when you're downcast, because you're going to lose your perspective. Rather, what would you do? Trust God. God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, my darling, that is it for today for us. I want to thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that this is an excerpt from UCB Ireland. And we're reading the Bible for the whole year. Can you refer back to my previous videos? Just down the description, I'm going to see the chapters we've read. But for today, we are reading Luke chapter 10 from verse 1 to 24 and Psalms chapter 57, 58 and 59. Thank you again for listening, my darling. You know I love you. But God loves you most. But remember, please, do not make a major decision when you are downcast or when you are depressed. May God help us to scale through all these difficult times. And may we put our hope and trust in God. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. See you next time and don't forget to share. Bye-bye. <laughs>